hospitals continue to be overwhelmed with COVID-19 patients, we wanted to take a deeper look behind the numbers we give you daily, particularly statistics about booster shots. As THB 11's Mercedes McKay found out, that extra shot of protection has a high success rate with keeping people out of the hospital. While the eligibility and expansion of the booster shot has changed since the first approval back in November, one thing has been the same from the beginning, the urge from health officials to get it. I think it's going to be very important in order to bring this pandemic to a close. Doctors like Jennifer Dillahay with the Arkansas Department of Health are finding out that the Omicron variant has what they call a partial immune escape meaning you need really high levels of antibodies to block it. So that's when the extra level of protection comes in handy. The booster dose increases the level of antibodies so it's closer to what they were when you were first vaccinated. So is the shot working? Let's look at the numbers. According to the Department of Health, since December 1st, people who received boosters made up only 2.9% of the state's hospitalizations. People who were fully vaccinated but not boosted represented 28.7%, while 68.3% of those hospitalized are not fully vaccinated. So it's gonna make a difference for a person to take that step to get fully vaccinated and then get boosted. Dr. Amanda Novak says it's a similar trend throughout the Baptist Health System. Only a small percentage of their COVID hospitalized patients are boosted, and she says most of them are older with other illnesses. These are not healthy people that got a booster dose. These are people that um, many of whom kind of need to be in the hospital for other reasons and, and happen to test positive. Right now, only 17.4% of the eligible population in our state is boosted, according to the Department of Health. It's a number doctors like Novak want to see go up. Those little incremental things that we can do to be just a little bit more protected actually make a big difference in, in keeping us from like tipping over past capacity. It's a major difference in a fight that isn't over yet. We're at war with this virus and the virus has like all these tools that it's using to, to bypass our immune system, to spread more easily, to, to spread through the air. And so like we need all the tools that we can get too. Mercedes McKay, THV 11 News.